Hey everyone, here's a question. Find the area of a rhombus having each side equal to 13 cm and one of whose diagonal is 24 cm. So they have given two things to us. One they have given is side of rhombus which is 13 cm. So we know that in rhombus all sides are equal. So every side here is 13 cm. And we have given one of whose diagonal is 24 cm. So we can take any one diagonal to be 24 cm. And in rhombus diagonal bisect each other. So bisect each other at 90, de at 90 degree or they are perpendicular or diagonal are perpendicular means when they are bisecting, bisecting means at the intersection point like you can see O is intersection point, the diagonals are divided into two equal parts. So suppose AC is 24 centimeter, then AO will be 12 and OC will be 12. I hope it's clear. So bisection, the diagonal bisect each other at 90 degree. So at 90 degree means at when, where they are intersecting, the angle what they are forming is 90 degree, like all these four angles will be 90 and the diagonals are divided into two equal parts. So this will become, suppose AC is 24 centimeter. So let's take here, let AC equal to 24 centimeter. If AC is 24 centimeter, since diagonal are bisecting, then AO and OC will be equal to 12 centimeter. Why we got 12? Because 24 half, that is 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, 12 plus 12 is 24, right? So they are equally divided here. So AO will be 12 and OC will also be 12 centimeter, right? Now what would you find out here? We have to find out the area of rhombus. But what is the formula of area of rhombus? Area of rhombus formula is half into product of diagonal. So here diagonals are AC. So AC into DB. So if you see here, we know AC length. AC is 24. It's given from the question. But how to find out the length of DB? So we don't know this. But if you see here in the diagram, this is forming a right angle triangle. DOC is forming a right angle triangle. Yes, you can see this is 90 degree. Why we got this 90 degree? Because in rhombus, diagonal bisect each other at 90 degree. So they are forming here 90, like this angle is 90. So this is forming a right angle triangle. And in that, we know the hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. DC will become hypotenuse. Why this is DC is hypotenuse? Uh, this side which is opposite to the angle, so 90 degrees here, right, it's opposite side which is DC, so DC will become hypotenuse and OC will become height. You can take OC as a height or base, it will not going to change anything. So OC will become height, I am just assuming that OC is height and then DO will be base. So using a Pythagoras theorem, we are going to find out the DO. So once we got this half of diagonal and we know that DB, so DO and OB length is same because they are bisecting each other, right? So once we got DO, we can able to find out the length of DB. Using that, we are going to find out the area of the rhombus. So let's use the Pythagoras theorem here. So using Pythagoras theorem, So we know Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to, so here hypotenuse is DC. So DC square is equal to, it's sum of square of height and base. So here height is OC. So OC square plus DO square. If it's confusing you, I'm going to write down once again. So triangle is like this. This is right angle triangle and this is 90 degree. So you can see 90 degree is nothing but the point O. And let's take this as D and this as C. So here OC is 12, OD we have to find out and CD is 13 side of the rhombus. So you can see we have to find out the base here. I'm using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square is equal to a sum of square of base and height. Okay, so base is here DO or OD and height is OC. So we know two values here, let's substitute. So OC here is 12, so 12 square plus DO we have to find out. So DO square, going to keep it like that. And DC is 13, so 13 square. So 13 square is 169. So 169 is equal to 12 square is 144 plus DO square. Now we have to find out the DO value to so transpose 144 to the other side of the equation. So this will become 169 minus 144 is equal to DO square. So when you subtract this two, it will get 25. So 25 is equal to DO square. 
we want only the value of do. So, we are going to take a square root on both the sides. So, square root of 25 will be equal to do. So, this square and square root will get cancelled. We have square here, right? And the square root when we do it on both the side, we get cancelled, we get only do. So, square root of 25 is 5 here. So, use like that, we are going to get the value of do or od. So, therefore, do is equal to 5. So, 5 centimeter. So, which means this do is 5 centimeter, which means ob will also be 5 centimeter because diagonal db is bisecting here. So, here we got db length. So, db will be 5 plus 5, which will be 10. So, we will get 10 centimeter. So, now we got length of both diagonal. One is given the question and one we have found. Let us find out the area of rhombus. So, area of rhombus will be, I am going to erase this part here. So, therefore, sorry, area of, so, area of rhombus will be equal to half into, it is half into product of diagonal. So, diagonal is db, so db multiplied by another diagonal is ac, so db into ac. Substitute the value, it is half into db length is 10, so 10 into ac value is 24. Substitute the value here, so once you have done, cancel them, 2 ones are, 2 fives are 10. So, 24 into, so we will get here 120 centimeter square. So, this is the area of rhombus. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.